Hi, today we're going to talk about possibly the most important person in the world, you. Your parents probably looked like this, your grandparents probably looked like this, and the way things are going, the next generation will probably look like this. In the middle of all that, there's you, on the internet right now, surrounded by a whole lot of embarrassingly useless stuff. No doubt this stuff is filling up your house, filling up your car, and filling up your life. Your grandparents sure as hell didn't need this much junk, so why are we, the most environmentally aware of all generations, collecting so much stuff? I mean, imagine if everyone kept going bananas, buying and buying to feed the beast of consumerism. For a start, buying more stuff means we need to spend more time and more money. The Australia Institute boffins have calculated that we're spending $10.5 billion each year on stuff we don't even use. Then, 84% of us are buying stuff like storage systems and bigger houses to fit it in. Which is fine if you're someone with cash to burn and time to waste. But for most of us, the excess stuff we consume only leads to disappointment. It gives us fleeting pleasure when we buy it, and then we're left holding the credit card bill. Worse still, health experts warn we could literally be consuming ourselves to death. The World Health Organization has reported that over 67% of Aussies are overweight and likely to kick the bucket sooner. Medical innovation has extended our life expectancy, but greediness is shrinking it back. But to be honest, if everyone went the complete opposite of bananas, which we'll call... Uh, Sananab, the outlook is no less depressing. If going Sananab meant no more spending and living by a whole lot of rules, things wouldn't be much fun at all. No shopping trips, no catalogues, no fast food, and everyone being forced to go vegetarian because farting cattle is warming the globe. Come on. Instead of getting people to consume better or less, we could just make sure there were less people, yeah? You know what, forget about that whole Sananab future thing. I like girls, and I like hamburgers. A lot. So if you're now interested in a third option, and you want to avoid all that waste, self-destruction and alfalfa, then we'd like to welcome you aboard the Starship Otherwise. If just a few more of us lived otherwise, we'd be in the bicycle lane to a sustainable future. We'll have room to move, time to spare and savings accounts. Simple things like planting some veggies, swapping our clothes, sharing our cars and powering our blog writing with solar all add up. We could tell you heaps more ways to be all otherwisey, but it would be a little ironic to make an hour-long film on how to use less resources. So click on over and check out Project Otherwise. Start sharing the good ideas that inspire us to live a little better with less. It's not just for die-hard eco-extremists or tree-hugging hippies. It's a place for you and me to find ways to improve our lives and be a little bit greener about it. Project Otherwise, connecting people for a better future, or as we like to call it, the good bit of the internet.